Moisturize. My name is Nicholas Tapati, and uh, our senior project is entitled Mortar Sifting Machine. The goal of this project was to design a machine to industrial standards that is capable of sifting the used mortar that is acquired by the Wellsville um, campus. After their daily uh, demonstrations of building different types of walls, they, they accumulate piles of used mortar that they would like to be able to recycle. Our machine was basically designed off of using the um, cart that they had that they manually sift the mortar currently. So we wanted to incorporate that same cart into our machine design. We took uh, three measurements of the cart, the width, length, and height, which we wanted to be able to have this cart slide underneath our machine to receive the mortar. Our design, design decisions were a couple different uh, factors. Our operating rate was determined to be 380 RPM, which we wanted to keep that relatively low for safety reasons. Uh, we, we also wanted to design this machine completely with stock parts so that it would keep the cost down. Um, we also chose uh, adjustable linkage rods for our linear motion. Uh, this would be able to give the assembler the ability to fine tune this machine. We also found uh, roller wheels that we Supposed to attach to the wood frame so that we would get a sliding motion. Some safety uh, decisions were we needed a, a power switch, obviously, to keep uh, to kill power to if there was any issue. We also had talked to a couple professors about mounting this machine to the concrete in the shop floor via anchor bolts. And we also built uh, belt guards for our machine to be to cut OSHA cuts. We broke this uh, machine design into different assemblies. Here shows our table assembly where the cart will slide under. It is constructed of four angle iron legs with base plates and two C channel supports that our linear motion cart will be placed in. Here, this is uh, the wooden frame that is currently used at the, in the shop for the manual sifting of the mortar. We also incorporated that same wooden frame into our design using the roller wheels. brings us to our next uh, assembly, which was the motor and bearing assembly. We broke that down into two tiers, a top tier and bottom tier, where the top tier help housed the motor or the pulley belt, um, bearings, and linkage, where the bottom tier only had the driving pulley and the motor. So in order to get our system operating correctly, we had to do some calculations. First, we selected our drive system by doing some belt drive calculations. We took a motor that operated at 1160 RPMs and stepped down the reduction by using a two and a half inch dragon shiv to a seven inch driven shiv to step down operating RPMs of the system to 380 RPMs. Some other calculations that took place were some weldment calculations. The weldment calculations that took place 
were dependent on the orientation of the parts. Anchoring the machine. So this machine, once built, will be anchored to the concrete shop floor where the local construction trade students and the masonry department. According to OSHA code 1929.755A1, four anchor bolts must be used per column. Belt guards. The belt guard consists of stainless steel sheet metal which has tabs to bolt to the motor plate. And the stainless steel sheet metal will be folded, of which will be able to guard the belt from hurting anyone. According to OSHA code 1910.212832, a, a belt guard is necessary for the safety of people using the machine. Bill of materials. So for the bill of materials, we had a total of probably around 100 parts, and the system will cost about $1,600 to manufacture. And these are our references. Thank you.